Hey guys, hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the Wilson's disease. See, Wilson's disease is a disorder in which there is a defective hepatic excretion of copper as a result of which there is excessive accumulation of copper within the body. But before we dive into the actual pathophysiology of the disease, let's look at the normal physiology of copper excretion from the hepatocytes. Now, if we take on the hepatocytes, within the hepatocytes there is a transporter protein that is the function of which is to incorporate copper into a protein called as ceruloplasmin so as a result of this the copper ceruloplasmin complex is formed and the copper ceruloplasmin complex is thrown out of the hepatocytes into the biliary sinusoids and as a result of which the copper is excreted in the bile but the copper which is excreted in the bile is always bound to its transport protein called as ceruloplasmin. So the copper is never free and it is always bound to ceruloplasmin. Now in Wilson's disease what happens over there is that there is a genetic defect as a result of which the protein which was normally accumulating copper with ceruloplasmin is not functioning so as a result of which the copper cannot be incorporated into the ceruloplasmin since copper cannot be incorporated into ceruloplasmin so copper ceruloplasmin complex cannot be thrown out of the hepatocytes into the bile so as a result of this the copper cannot be excreted and the copper starts to build up within the hepatocytes now as a result of which some of the free copper would find a way out of the hepatocytes into the small blood vessels which are flowing adjacent to the hepatocyte and as a result of which the free copper which was normally absent in the blood will now be present in the blood and that too in large quantities okay so again if we go through this normally the copper was being attached to ceruloplasmin and copper ceruloplasmin complex was thrown into bile and as a result of which the copper was excreted in the bile in the wilson's disease the copper ceruloplasmin complex is not formed because the protein which was responsible for incorporation of copper into ceruloplasmin is not there so as a result of which the free copper starts to accumulate within the hepatocyte and some of it will leak into the blood vessels and as a result of which the free copper in the blood would increase now the clinical features of this disease are basically due to increased copper within the blood vessels which deposits in various tissues and also destroys various tissues within the body so let's look on the clinical features which are associated with the wilson's disease the first clinical feature, uh, feature which is associated with increased copper is the liver cirrhosis. Now what happens over there is that as a result of excessive copper accumulation within the hepatocytes, there is the production of what is called as free radicals and these free radicals will damage the hepatocytes and ultimately most of the liver and would result in end stage liver disease which is called as cirrhosis. The second clinical feature is lenticular degeneration now what happens over there is that as the blood levels of copper increase the copper begins to deposit in specific part of the brain which are called as the basal ganglia in the basal ganglia there are further specific parts which are called as the lenticular nuclei and as the copper begins to deposit within the lenticular nuclei it destroys or damages the lenticular nuclei and as a result of which several neurological symptoms develop the main neurological symptoms are dementia and chorea see the chorea are actually abnormal movements which are involuntary and these are the characteristic feature of a lesion in the basal ganglia the third clinical feature which is associated with wilson's disease is what is called as kaiser flasher rings see these are the rings which are composed of copper and they are found in the coronia so these are all the clinical features which are associated with the wilson's disease 
Now if we look at the laboratory findings, first of all, because the copper is leaking from the hepatocytes, there will be increased level of copper within the blood as a result of which the urinary excretion of copper would also be increased. So urinary copper would be increased. Next, as we already know that there is defective incorporation of copper into the ceruloplasmin, therefore levels of ceruloplasmin would be decreased in the blood. So this is all about the laboratory findings of the uh, Wilson's disease. If we talk about the treatment, for the treatment we use a chelating agent which chelates or makes complexes with all the copper which is present in the blood and hence it decreases the amount of free copper. The name of this agent is D-penicillamine. I hope you like the video up to, the, up to now. Uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much.